This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm in Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 13, Other Forms of Input, Part 10. Let's see here. Mouse clicks. Ooh, we're going to be doing more with mouse. Ooh, we got code. Let's test it out. Ooh, we have a balloon. Can we do anything? Are we going to pop it? I hope we pop it. Okay, so do we have other anime? Sorry, I'm just exploring. All right, let's see what we're doing. Mouse clicks. Key presses... Key presses are great, but sometimes you want users to interact through mouse clicks. Yep. There's a new block called mouse down, which, similar to key down, checks whether the left or the right mouse button is being pressed. If you are using a computer with a mouse or trackpad that has only one button, you'll always you'll want to always use mouse down left. For example, a Mac or a Chromebook, right? Mouse down left is what you're going to want to be using. Do this. Um, do this. Here's a problem that drops a balloon down the screen. You're going to program the mouse button to raise the balloon back up while it's being clicked. Hmm, okay, so while I'm clicking on it, or while, okay, add an if statement that checks for mouse down. I'm going to do this as they're telling us, but let's see. Inside the conditional, move the balloon up one pixel if the mouse is down, otherwise move it down. Hint. You'll need to move the code that drops the balloon from the, for this to work. You'll only want it to run if mouse down is false. You're going to make a program the mouse button to raise the balloon back up while it's being clicked. Hint, you'll need to move... Oh, challenge. Can you make the balloon drift randomly to the left and right as it rises and falls? Oh, well, we'll get to there. So... I'm going to do this in order. Add an if statement that checks for mouse down. So if is a control, I'm going to grab that and check for if mouse is down here. Okay. And so remember, any code we put inside of this if statement is going to run only if our condition is true. And we're going to check for mouse down. I think that's in world. Yep, mouse down. And let's double check. Whoops. Mouse down, see examples. What do we put inside of mouse down? Yes, so in quotes, we would use left button or just left. You'll want to always use mouse left. Okay, so, oh, it auto set to left button, so let's leave that alone. I'm going to assume we'll get there. So we got that. Inside the condition, move the balloon up one pixel if the mouse is down. Otherwise, move it down. Otherwise means else. So if mouse down, move it up one pixel. Pixel. Else, right, if it's not down, if this is false, if it's false, we want to do something else. And what we want to do is this. If mouse down is false. Yes. And so the computer says, if mouse down, if the mount left mouse is down, it will run whatever is in here. Else. Else, okay, I'm going to run this stuff. So, if it's down, we want it to move up. And to move up, remember X and Y. So, look at our Y variable here. It's almost at zero. And as we move down, it goes up, which is why they're adding to the balloon Y property. So, I'm going to go to variables. I'm going to go to equals. Drop that. Grab my sprites. And I want Y again. Okay. You don't want it to say sprite, though. I want it to say balloon. We have a balloon sprite, not a sprite sprite. We know that from the variable. And then math, we're going to subtract from y this time. Need to go back to sprites. Grab my sprite y. Drop that in there. Need this to be balloon. And let's subtract 1. All right. And now we can test it for some bugs. Let's see. I'm going to turn off my grid. Run. So we're dropping, dropping, dropping. Ooh, this says I have a bug already. I'll see you in a minute. Ooh, ah. Ooh, I see. It is a typo bug. I'm misspelling balloon. Yikes. Alrighty. Let's add that other O, I guess, and try that again. Dropping, dropping, dropping. And if we click it, if I'm holding it down, we're going up. And now I'm going to let go of the mouse. And now let's see if I click over here. Or here. Okay. 
I'm going to reset it for a sec. Let's check these instructions. If mouse down. Inside the conditional, move the mouse up one pixel. Yep, we got that. So here is the code that does what it asks. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this just so we can see more of it at a time. Okay. So that's technically meeting the requirements. Now the trick, I'm going to do the challenge. Let's see what the challenge was. Challenge, can you make the balloon drift randomly to the left and right as it rises and falls? So as it rises and falls, so regardless of its Y, let's think about this. To the left, oh, well, X is going down, okay? And to the right, X is going up. So we would want to change the balloon's X value. So let's go ahead then and go to variables equals, and we want to change it regardless of whether the mouse is down, right? Because it said, challenge, can you make it drift randomly left to right as it rises and falls? So either way. And then we're going to want to, if we want it to drift randomly from the left and right, we're going to need two of these, one for X, one for Y, math, Liz, boop, math, oh no, not one for x, one for y, hmm, let's try it with one, I think we're also going to need a minus, but let's see, all right, sprites, and then we're going to grab our sprites, x, and then we're going to need this again because we're going to set it to the exact same X location. But, oop, two O's. Balloon, that looks good. Plus, now what it's mad about. Okay, whatever. I think it's just that we haven't filled this in, balloon X, and then we are going to math, I believe. Yep, random. Let's do negative 50, right, to 50. All right, so now, even though this is a plus, we'll subtract from X or add to X, depending on our random, I think. Let's see what this does. Ooh, that is a bit wild, though. Maybe 50 is too much. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to change this to minus 10 and 10. And then I'm also going to go to world, frame rate, and this is why it's a challenge. And I want to slow it down. So whoops, I want to do variables actually, because I'm going to change up the frame rate. Frame rate, it's set to 30 by default, I think. I'm going to change it to 10. Let's see what this does. Okay, and there's a bit better for me at least. Um, maybe I want to mess with this, change it to 15 or 20. As I hold the mouse down, it is still going to go up and kind of float around for me. So challenge accepted and accomplished. Awesome. Let's keep going. Oh, well, actually, let me just real quick. Here is the code that was working for me with the challenge there. Let's get rid of that so it's easier to read. 